All right, assets. First off, you have to find where you're at in the game. In this case, Unity has this first person control prefab and I know F on the keyboard allows me to frame in a shot. So there I am. I'm this pill looking object. Okay, now that I have this in order and I can see it, I have to think, well, what makes up this game engine? And where is this at? You know what I mean? Like, is it on my hard drive? Is it in one file format? So, let's do something. Let's save scene as and find out where this is all saving at. Okay, not there. How about I go project, new project. Aha, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it's storing it in users. So I know to go over to my users. And if you look under shared, it's under Unity, and here's Island Demo. Okay, so I gotta give it to you, but I found the actual package and where the things are being stored at. And now I can poke around in here to find out what are things. Okay, I probably want objects first. So let's look under the library. And let's look under assets. And maybe a bridge. There we go, FBX format. Okay, so what's an FBX? So now the next thing you gotta understand is all game engines have some stupid wacky format that they use. Now FBX, that's a real easy one. That's actually common to Maya, okay? I'm probably you're gonna use 2008 Maya, just, just so it will say worst case scenario here. And I know that if I go in here to polygons, and if I go into polygons themselves and take a box, I can also go into an interactive creation, take that off, and just make one box. Now, this one box, let's just say by default, let's just try this. Let's export selection and export selection here is fbx okay so now i know where the packets are and what i want to do here is just go in here users shared and go to unity and take this into my assets and i want to keep stuff organized in here so i'll make a new folder called objects and i'll call this box now what's that, why is it important just to export a standard box with defaults? So I'm just gonna export it. Why is that important? Well, it tells me scale, okay? And scale is very important in a video game. Without scale, you will not know exactly what you need to build, that's for sure. Okay, so here, Let's go in here and we got objects. Look at that, how intuitive this is. And I can take this box and click and drag it out and voila, it is really, really small, <laughs> okay? So I don't know if I'll be able to see this and here's how you scale it up. Okay, how small was it? Really, really small. With this engine, there's not a whole lot of telling you what scale is compared to, okay? I would have to go look that up on the internet and remember, I, I don't really wanna look up a whole lot of things. I wanna systematically break it down to figure out what the scale is. So now I've scaled it 100 times uh, what it came in as, because it used to be one. This is Probably not an American product, so I'm going to guess this is running in meters. Just going to guess. And that means what I'm going to have to do is go to Windows, Settings, and Preferences, Preferences, and now set um, my settings 
to meters. See, it's on centimeters. And that would explain why everything's so small. Now, if it was uh, an American-made product, I would say inches or feet would be important. So let's try meters. Look at that. The box is real small. That's kind of telling me my, my gut feeling was right on. Now, the only thing is, when you change it to meters within Maya, you're going to get this awful clipping location problem. Okay, so let's go over to grid and say, well, let's go to a thousand units. And a grid space every 200 units. Okay. Now, can I zoom all the way out? No, it's even worse. Worse. All right. In order to solve this problem with the clipping location, this is a very common problem. Um, I have to go in here to go into window and then outliner and highlight perspective. And I can go into perspective, the camera, and I can choose the clipping distance. In this case, I got a near clip of 0 0.0001. And that is really, really, really small. So I'm going to say 100. A far plane would be uh, 5,000 or 500. Yeah, that'll work. So what does that give me? That gives me the ability to highlight cube, hit F on the keyboard. And find out the cube is just about as small as it was back in the video game very tiny okay so let's get rid of the cube now and try our new setup let's go in here so when I make a new box it's gonna be a little bit bigger and when I export it out And I want to name this box too, because I already scaled that box in Unity. I do not want to rescale it. Now, I want to keep everything here. And look at, this is how I kind of thought. FBX, here's meters. Okay, so it's defaulting in meters. I want to definitely learn meters for this game engine. I don't want to do a lot of math or converting. I want to be able to think in meters, even though that's a real hard concept for me to get because being American and all, we don't use meters very often. Okay, so now I got two boxes out here. This box I can move out of the way. And box two is just as small as the first box. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to find out how big does the box have to be enabled to be as tall as the player. And that's in the next video.